Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. We just got official confirmation that Iris is coming back as a speedster. This was something that I theorized in my last video a couple of days ago, but it got officially confirmed afterwards, so we have to talk about that. Also, we got some photos which feature the real Godspeed, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so big news, Iris is officially coming back as a speedster. Now, this was announced a couple of days ago, I don't know where it originally came from, however, it's now official and it's going to be happening in the finale, so I'm super excited about this, I'm sure you guys are, maybe you heard about it over the last couple of days, but let's go ahead and get into this. So, yes, episode 18, aka the finale of the season, which is the second part of the two-part finale episode of season 7 is titled Heart of the Matter Part 2. So this is how the synopsis goes, we're just going to give you some brief context as to why this is all happening to do with Speedster Iris returning. So the Flash enlists a host of Speedster allies including Iris and his children from the future, Bart and Nora West Allen, to end the Speedster war and defeat a new deadly adversary, the villainous Godspeed. Okay, so we theorized about this in my last video and it was weird the way that they worded it because the way they word it is the Flash enlists a host of speedster allies including Iris and his children. So including Iris means that yes Iris is going to be a speedster but the official announcement wasn't made before the synopsis so it kind of suggested that and we theorized that Iris was going to get her powers back and now it's official. So how is Iris getting her powers you may ask. So this is something that we've seen in the past, Iris has been a speedster at one point, there was that episode back a couple of seasons ago, it was a bit controversial because of the way that Iris got powers and people were very argumentative about like, oh should this have happened, should this not have happened, but after all I think, you know, some people like it, some people didn't like it, that just is gonna happen with something like this, and so I personally, I liked it quite a bit. Anyway, so I'm excited that Iris is returning as a speedster because I like any speedsters and seeing a host of speedsters take on like all the god speeds that is amazing and also we know reverse flash is going to be coming back so that's super exciting so let's talk about Iris getting her powers and how it would make sense that Iris is getting her powers so Iris getting powers due to her getting pregnant makes a lot of sense so there's been Lots of speculation about this in the past, and with say Bart or Nora growing with inside of her, they will have the metagene and therefore the metagene is going to be inside of Iris. So that's probably the most likely way that they're going to explain her getting powers. It's just going to be a one and done thing, like Iris isn't going to stick around and have powers into next season or something. That is just simply probably not going to happen. But Barry's definitely going to need all hands on deck when it comes to taking down the real Godspeed. And I think it makes a lot of sense with Bart and Nora showing up that their mum is going to have powers and that they're going to be an entire speedster family. And this is obviously very, very exciting because it's like the ultimate Flash family. Imagine we're going to get Bart, Nora, Iris, Barry, Jay. Reverse Flash is going to show up and potentially some other speedsters Again, in the synopsis, it does say a host of speedster allies. I guess that does sound like a host already, but I guess there's a potential of like one extra cameo to fit in there somewhere. However, I would say for now, these are the definite people we know are showing up. And so it's super exciting to see like Iris team up with her kids. I really can't wait to see that actually go down. It's going to be a crazy episode in the 150th episode and also probably Iris is going to be featured as a speedster in the finale because that's what the synopsis teases so I don't know if she gets it the episode before and then she properly uses it and goes out into the field to try and defeat Godspeed and then it will be like a whole Flash family team up to take down Godspeed and I really can't wait because I don't think we've had enough speedster stuff in recent seasons so seeing this whole episode which is dedicated to good and bad speedsters it's going to be amazing, and so what do you guys think about all of this? Are you excited to see Iris back in the speedster costume? Obviously, she's going to be wearing a very similar costume to Nora because that's the inspiration behind Nora's costume. It's going to be a crazy final two episodes of the season, and I think it's going to make up for a lot of what we had earlier this season, which people haven't really connected with that much. 
Okay, let's move on to the next thing. So we have some photos for this week's episode. Super excited to talk about them. I haven't got around to it just yet, so I thought I would include it at the end of this video. But this is for the episode titled POW, which means Prisoner of War. And so this is the episode that is coming this week. It's going to be the continuation on from what we saw with the return of Godspeed. And so this week's episode, we're going to be going heavy into the Godspeed War and what was set up last episode with the two different teams. Obviously, there is going to be some sort of explanation going on, but they're also going to be setting up the two-part finale, which comes out literally the week after the 150th episode airs. So we have like no time left. We got three episodes left of The Flash and they are really ramping things up really fast right now and so we're gonna get like fully into the Godsby stuff straight away and they're gonna hold nothing back and so yeah the episode is titled POW which means prisoner of war this is the episode where John Diggle is going to be showing up so this is a crossover episode technically and this is his one appearance on the flash so the synopsis for the episode goes like this John Diggle arrives in Central City with a weapon to help Barry stop the Godspeed War. Meanwhile, Allegra, an ultraviolet's new bond, is put to the ultimate test, while Joe and Kristen Kramer are hunted down by a former colleague of hers. Okay, so who is starring in this episode? Well, we know Dion's actually going to be returning, aka the Steel Force, which is interesting to say the least. I have no idea why he's showing up, but I'm excited because I did like him before. However, obviously we know Christian Kramer is going to be there, Ultraviolet, Diggle is going to be showing up, and we also have a mystery man who we do see in some photos for the episode, which we're going to go over in just a minute. But yeah, this is a big John Diggle episode. He's going to be actually helping the team take down Godspeed by bringing a device from Argus. Maybe it's from Cisco. That would be pretty cool. If Cisco saw what was happening in Central City with the Godspeed war going on, and he was like, okay, Diggle, go over there and give them this tech, which is going to help them out. But for now, let's go ahead and go into the photos for this episode. So episode 16, the first photo we have is of Barry and Caitlin inside the medical lab. And it seems like Caitlin has been checking up on Barry and Barry presumably got injured by one of the Godspeeds. Then we have this other photo just from another angle and they are talking to someone else inside the lab. But then we move on to the next photo and this actually shows the mystery man. And we are 99% sure this is one of the Godspeeds. Now this isn't to say this is like the end all be all Godspeed, like the original real Godspeed. However, it seems like he has been specifically cast to have a talking role because as you guys know, all the Godspeeds are behind masks. So they're mainly stuntmen who basically can go around and be intimidating and do some fight scenes. But they actually cast this guy as one of the Godspeeds and it seems like he is like the team leader of one of the Godspeed teams. And we see him here, and it seems like Caitlyn is subduing his powers. That's what I presume is going on, so they were able to capture one of the Godspeeds, and it turns out to be this guy. And like I said, he might not even be the real Godspeed, because I don't think the real Godspeed would probably show up to Star Labs this soon. Like, what happens if they just grab one of the clones, subdued him, and he's actually able to talk like one of those clones at the end of last season? So that would be an interesting twist. I don't think they're going to reveal like the final Godspeed straight away. So that's what's got me in my head thinking, hmm, maybe this is a bit too easy. Like maybe this version of this guy isn't the real Godspeed, but maybe like an alternate timeline or like another Earth version of this guy is the real Godspeed somewhere else. But let's go ahead and move on to the next photo. We have some photos of John Diggle here. He's holding the device that he brought from Argus. We got Chester, Barry, and Cecile. And so Barry is down here. He is holding the orb in his hand. And he is presumably talking to someone who is on the ground. I guess it's probably that Godspeed. But really anything could be happening. But John did bring this device to take down a Godspeed or all the Godspeeds. So it does make a lot of sense that Godspeed is on the ground here. And so the final couple of photos, we have the return of Iris West. Iris hasn't been in the episodes for like the last two weeks. So it's very exciting to see her back. And she is here and it looks like she's maybe in her reporter get up. They're outside, so it's Barry in his suit with his mask off, and he turns around and his face looks quite shocked. So I would presume maybe he is talking to Godspeed, I guess? 
I'm not 100% on this. However, why would Barry be there in his flash suit unless maybe something bad happened to Iris and she called Barry? But it's more likely than not that Team Flash are on a mission and somehow Barry has felt the need to take off his mask and he's checking up on Iris it looks like. So I don't know the actual context, but something is definitely going down here. So that's about it for today's video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below, are you excited about Speedster Iris, I'm very excited to see her team up with the rest of the Flash family, but for now, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and stay tuned day to day as we upload daily videos, but I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.